send in photos of your grannies, mm -hmm. folks, and we will um, rate them on looks. And uh, the ugliest wins. <laughs> <laughs> what does she win? Um, copy of the book. I'll give him a hundred dollars and, and a copy of the on perks. I'll double that. Let's make it two hundred. <laughs> Let, let's let's keep this going too. I don't want to. I don't want to leave out pop pops. So send us a picture of your pop pops most disgusting shit, and I'll put another hundred bucks on that too. So hot gray moms and hottest pop pop dump. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Column Tiro podcast. We got the great Mike Rainey on today. Before we get going, don't forget that you can support the podcast by heading over to patreon.com slash columntiro, where you get an extra episode every week. Go over, do it, be part of the crew. I'm also on the road. I've got dates coming up all over the country. I'm in Austin. I'm going to be in San Diego. I'm going to be in LA. I'm going to be in Vegas. We're also adding more dates. We're going to be in Dallas towards the end of the year. Cincinnati's coming up. Waiting on more stuff with Phoenix, Philadelphia. Head over to columntural.com and you can get each and every one of those tickets. Come out, see what all the fuss is about. I did fucking Fallon. Um, Mike Rainey from Dad Me. What a fucking great guy. Uh, one of the nicest hearts in comedy. Hilarious dude. Obviously, you, you must know him from the Dad Me podcast with Tim Butterly, friend of the show. Um, he also has little stinkers about um, uh, serial killers and fucked up people. Um, but now he has a new book called On Perks, where he pretty much threw his life away due to uh, opioid addiction. And during that time, he would t uh, post things on Facebook, which like the funniest posts of all time. So um, what he did is he made this book self-produced, uh, go support my granny, buy the book. Um, if you buy it because of this podcast, send them a little comment. Let them know that this podcast um, helped uh, make a little dent in the uh, the sale of that book. So between him and Sam Talent, there's a bunch of great books that we can have um, uh, that you can buy. Um, good friends of the show. So don't forget to buy tour date uh, tickets. And um, if you are in a city and you want to see me perform, just let me know. I'll do my best to get that organized. So um, that's it. Enjoy the show. Ladies and gentlemen, the Column Tyrrell podcast. We are joined by the hilarious Mike Rainey, folks. Come on, make some noise. Kali, thank you for having me, man. This, um, is, a, this is a treat. Yeah, thanks. Well, we got, first of all, everyone watching. If you're watching, if you're listening, whatever. But if you're watching, um, we have we, we built a wall, baby. Fucking Trump couldn't do it. So I stepped up. And I said, because there's a bunch of Mexicans. You can hear the kids scratching on there, the other side of the wall. There's a bunch of children. There's a caravan right there. Yeah, save it for some of you who cares. <laughs> fucking animals. There's gonna be rocks coming over like Palestine. <laughs> fucking. <laughs> Are you damos? It's a peace wall, actually. You know, in mm, Ireland, they yeah. have peace walls. You know that? Yeah. yeah. They separated the, the uh, Catholics from the sinners. Um, <laughs> and uh, yeah, they built walls. They still lock them up at night. Did you, do you keep peace at the peace wall? <laughs> <laughs> yeah um rice and peace um yeah it's a peace wall so they still lock it up though but um there's a big separation they just uh, in the 60s they're like all right you guys are fighting fucking build a wall mm -hmm. they actually that was like their plan of attack as a government isn't that kind of nuts i would i would i would love to see you there when you went back were you treated like a big star now no i wish i wish but i acted like it yeah sunglasses you inside like could splash my mother with coffee. This is <laughs> treating her like an assistant. <laughs> yeah, woman. Uh, yeah, but I've never even been to the Peace Walls. Actually, up in Belf, they're up in Belfast. Okay, and they they call them Peace Walls, but they're just uh, walls never work well. You know, they, no one's ever built the wall to separate stuff. I'm like, yeah, that's good. Mm -hmm. That's a good thing, dude. I I'm such a moron that you could say anything about any wall anywhere, and I would believe it. The Berlin Wall. I know that's a real thing. I saw that. Yeah. I went there. I went to the Ber Berlin Wall. Is that what it's called? Yeah. yeah, I went there. Did you take a little piece home? I fucking pissed on it. <laughs> and I said, Viva Yugoslavia! <laughs> uh, that's one of those things, though. You go see it and you go, oh, yeah, cool. Have Fuck. You, have you ever seen anything that had historical significance where you were just overcome with, <laughs> just, with just beauty, the, yeah. the gratitude that you live where you live? Um. I don't know. General Lee's fucking statue, Virginia. <laughs> <laughs> Kiss the horse's feet. <laughs> yeah, do his uh, hoofs. <laughs> the South Shaw Ross Gale. Uh, I don't know. Most tourism is shit, right? The vast majority of tourism is like just like you get there and you're like, that's the Mona Lisa? Who gives a fuck? Well, dude, the first thing I thought about was the Liberty Bell in Philly, and that's Nasty. the lamest shit ever. So bad. 
I always make fun of that. Yeah, it's like, you, you, know, you know, we have broken bell. And they go, <laughs> all right. <laughs> yeah, if I was ever in Philly and I came across tourists who were asking me to show them where the good stuff was, I would point them toward the black Israelites. <laughs> <laughs> you have a shotgun. It's back the way you came. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah, I miss those guys. I used to walk past them every day because I worked in Center City. I had a shit job. I used to do interior landscaping. Okay. And I used to go and water plants in lobbies. And almost every day I'd have to walk past the black Israelites. And without fail, I'd get called a white faggot. Nice. And nice. I, on days where I didn't have enough out money. White? Can you bleep out white? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, on days where I didn't have enough money to get a Starbucks coffee, that white faggot went a long way because it, um, it's a jolt <laughs> to the system, man. It's it's like its own cup of coffee, man. There, Yeah, there's something energizing <laughs> about white faggots. Yeah, that's, that's a black Israelite cappuccino. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, dude. I just closed the sale. Like, so, yeah, some guy gets fucking pep talked by these guys. Blue eyed devil? Is that what they call you? Blue eyed devil? Uh, I think that's on the nicer end. I, I get white faggot. It's just, white. just yeah. It's just there's there's nothing there's nothing sleek about me. So I think they reserve their blue eyed devils for people like that. But uh, I wonder what they would do if you just tried to join them. Like if you dress like them and you just stood next to them and just started. Yeah, put on one of those little hats that like, yeah. the the fucking the little Hindu hat or whatever it is. Well, they're, yeah, they're all dressed like like friggin' Star Wars characters. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they, 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 and then they always have like the saddest car to go home into. It's like a Datsun hatchback that eight 300 pound black guys get into. <laughs> it's like, come on, man. If it, You better have a, a friggin Mercedes Sprinter pull up if you're going to be yelling this shit all day long. <laughs> I like it. You know, there's not enough. Uh, there's not enough like uh, racial pride. You know, you want to start the white Israelites? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is that just the clan? What is that? I'm, a, I'm in too many white groups. <laughs> I can't fit it in. People just keep adding you like it's Facebook groups. It's like, what am I going to do in this now? I would, I always, I would love to go to a clan rally mm -hmm. um, just to experience it. You know, hang out, see what's going on. I think uh, you would have enjoyed it when they had the horses. Like now it's just a bunch of dudes no whose moms dropped them off. No, nah, I think they might have like one of those ponies on a stick. The kids ride around on, but I don't think any actual animals. That's like a Monty Python fucking sketch. <laughs> <laughs> we ride at dawn. Uh, yeah, that's so funny. But did you ever see um, no, um, uh, what was it old country? We're at there or something. Oh brother, we're at there. Yeah. Oh, brother, we're at there. And yeah. they, they infiltrate the clan at one point, and yeah. they're all like, oh, oh, and then there's like a cross on fire. Uh -huh. and it's like pretty fucking. They might do some good, you know, <laughs> the clan. I, I get it's built around hate, but you don't actually. They might be in the neighborhood get, covering up graffiti. Yeah, you know? I mean, at, at one point, <laughs> at least the uniforms look sharp and the animals were fired up. But now it's it's just a community. It, we, we, we need to get back to our roots. Right. Okay. Uh, Keep going. Classic. <laughs> <laughs> ding, ding, ding. Uh, we, but, you know, just community, you know, church is gone. Mm hmm. Clan rallies are gone. Mm -hmm. Just uh, and, to God, and you know, be inclusive. Let all the people in. Just is, is there anyone you'd stop at? Uh, women. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no way. <laughs> Get out. <laughs> uh, what would I stop at? Yeah. Koreans. Okay. Just Koreans. You know, and then like you go, are you Korean? He's like, no, I'm Japanese. I go, hmm. I don't know, man. I think mm. they're the people you would want up there because uh, remember the L.A. riots where they were all perched on top of their their shops. Just firing at looters. Why they? You would love them. Where was this? Rodney King? Yeah, it was after when they were burning down South Central LA. Yeah, okay. And and the, and the Koreans took out the guns and fucking. Yeah. yeah, you would love that, man. I'm going to send you some videos. Ah, really? That's so, f yeah. I do remember seeing a video during the BLM riot, uh, riots. And they were riots. <laughs> they mm -hmm. were riots. I would look. So this is who you're talking about right now? Yeah, look at him. Sal Di Stefano, Chris, Chris, Chris Stefano's <laughs> brother. Um, Nine. Is that the headbands necessary? I feel like that's like cosplay, <laughs> right? <laughs> Putting the headband like that is kind of like like Rambo. Well, now I mean it's Korean cosplay. Now I mean I'm the goal. That would be fun though if you go to Korean barbecue now and they're still sitting up there just fucking with you. Yeah, they, they got they, like little Nerf guns. Yeah, like the way the Japanese are still in the forest because they haven't heard the, the war ends. You know, they're just still up there. No one's told them. It's like, can we get these Koreans off the thing? There's like booby traps and stuff. <laughs> The kid from Goonies is up there with his boxing glove. <laughs> it just reaches into the street. Um, yeah, you would love them, though. I would give them a Koreans, shot. Koreans, right. Yeah, yeah. Look, you know what? I once said before that um, I thought Koreans had big heads. I had a, I had a, they do. I, big faces. Do they have big faces? Yep. But like, again, I, it's not like I know. It's, I don't stop and go, yo, what are you, by the way? Mm -hmm. And then they're like, oh, I'm fucking Chinese. 
I know the one washi washi that I went to before. <laughs> it was Korean, and I could tell by the face. Like Chinese is yeah. is smaller in stature, smaller in facial structure, but. Mm. Uh, when that when that moon face opens that door, you know exactly what you're in. For. Yeah, you get your period. <laughs> <laughs> you a washy washy guy? Um, yeah, I, 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 I I'm not against it. I'm not yeah. against the washy washy. Mm -hmm. I also feel like I do feel like prostitution's not cheating. Cut that! Cut that! Cut that! <laughs> now I don't know. I'm just saying if if you were if you were to find out your husband was cheating on you with a prostitute, you would go ah, mm -hmm. you know. It might be a waste of money, but whatever, you know. I don't know. I, I, yeah, I, I'm with you. Like, I think it's more along the lines of just going out to eat. It's like I not. It's not like another woman invited me over to her house and cooked for me. It's like yeah. I went to a restaurant. Yes, 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 yes. And it's not like I'm not going to make. I'm gonna eat the eggs you make tomorrow. I'm not gonna mm -hmm. eat breakfast with mm -hmm. you. You know, just tonight <laughs> I want to get a hand job off an Asian slave, <laughs> someone who was <laughs> trafficked in here. Here's the, the sometimes they do get aggravated though. The they will voice their displeasure with the you. wash people. Yeah, they what? What do they say? Uh, you you drank too much. You take too long. You take too long. Yes, that's Which a classic. Is, that's a that's a good one. Although I would have paid extra for that one. Yeah, you take too long. Yeah, yeah, you too big. That's what you want. <laughs> you want them to say too big. Mm -hmm. You know, just before I whip it out, can you say something like along the lines of like <laughs> too big monster? <laughs> Godzilla. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! You yeah. get get the other girls in and point at it, and they all go, "Oh my god!" Yeah, can you breathe a little fire for me? <laughs> Speaking of which, did you anything, do anything special for Valentine's? Day? Oh yeah, I did. All right, we'll get to that. But don't forget the look, folks. On perks, you can't zoom in. We're not good zooming. Can you zoom in? No. All right. Well, we tried to zoom in, folks. Sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> It was spontaneous. We've never done that before in my life. I just decided to see if we could zoom in. I appreciate the But look, it is zooming. Uh, anyway, Mike Rainey has a book called On Perks. It's all about when you were um, on Yeah, perks. I was whacked on Perks for close to three years. Yeah. And this isn't a sad drug memoir. By and large, I had a really great time on Perks. Yeah, that's why they're so good. Toward the end, it got pretty fucking sad. But up until like the last year, I was having a blast, man. And. I, yeah. I recommend it. I recommend um, I recommend the book. Go to onperks.com and I recommend getting on drugs because you will have fun, at least uh, for a little while. And what's the difference between perk cassettes and oxycotin? Cotton? So um acetaminophen is in percocet. Okay. Whereas you can get oxycodone just as a generic drug. There's oxycodone and acetaminophen, which is the brand name is Percocet. Oh. Oh, so it is oxy. Is that what you're saying? So yeah. So I was taking uh, I was taking perks for the first, I would say first two thirds of my drug run. And then eventually my doctor just cut me back to oxycodone because he was concerned about the effect it would have on my liver. Yeah. Meanwhile, I'm sure, I'm sure it was ruining my life. <laughs> <laughs> he goes, hey, I'm, I'm going to give you some, uh, the most, the most addictive drug of all time. Yeah. For your own health. I mean, while he's liver. driving down in a, in a Ferrari. Yeah. I got, I got to reconnect with him. Man. How I, did you even get on the perks in the first place? Dude, I was working a fucking job at like a UPS type facility. Mm. And within two weeks of working there, just one day, my leg was just on fire. And I, it was just such a strange thing because I don't remember hurting it. And it just one day my leg was on fire. The next day it was even worse. And I went to the doctor and I got an MRI and he said that I had ruptured two discs in my back. Wow. And I had a scheduled trip for Disney World and I was dirt poor. So I didn't have trip insurance. So it's like we were going to go on this trip. Yeah. But I definitely need to have surgery. And I had surgery either three or four days before we left for Disney. Then it was just a fucking nightmare, man. So you did the surgery, and then they gave you this to heal. And yeah. then you were flying down Splash Mountain. <laughs> oh, dude. It it was, fucking... it was a, I, that was my idea, but it was a fucking nightmare because I tried taking a shit right before I got on the plane. Oh. And from straining so hard, I re-herniated my disc. <laughs> <laughs> and, dude, I was screaming on the plane. I was screaming, get off the plane. They had to help me off the plane. And when I got to my hotel, I told my wife that I had to go to the hospital. So she called the paramedics. They came. They picked me up. And I was screaming through the lobby. Oh my and God. they took me to a place called Celebration Were you Hospital. screaming on the plane the whole time? So like the plane's just sitting there. Intermittently. And you're, and you're just there going, ah! Colum, I wish I could tell you that, that I was able to man up through this injury. But it was that fucking bad where I was just could screaming you? at random times. Imagine just being on a plane and you're like, fall, and then just, ah! <laughs> Like, shut the fuck up. Yeah, everybody's used to screaming kids. Like, <laughs> not everybody's used to screaming 34-year-old men. <laughs> Especially going to fucking Disney, man. You're wearing a Mickey Mouse shirt. Ah! 
And he's like, oh, dude, they thought you were special needs. But I could not fucking wait to get there. I loved it. I still love Disney. Yeah. And I got there and it, it took me, I would say we were there for five days. It took me day four before I was able to finally get out and go to the parks. One of my friends had rented me one of those rascal scooters. So even though I had one of those to fucking tool around in. What's that, like a fat, fat mobile? Is <laughs> yes, that what that's that is? exactly okay. what it is. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I was the only non-fat person with one of these motorized <laughs> scooters. And dude, by day four, um, I was able to get to the park. And day four and five, I enjoyed myself. And I actually got out there with my family. But dude, I couldn't do I was in bed the whole time. I had to have my wife hold the ice bucket up to my little ass dick because I could not get out of bed to piss. <laughs> and then I eventually had to pull shit out of my own ass oh. because I was so backed up from the painkillers. Yeah, and you, and you couldn't squeeze it out. I of, couldn't, man. Wow. And it just hurt too much to push. So I just reached in there and I pulled it out. And, and I'm not a butt guy. Are you a butt guy? <laughs> and not in that sense of the word. No, not, yeah. not, I'm not reaching into my own ass. This, this, was, this was the hand that I, I, <laughs> I, don't, I don't care. I'm sure it's. <laughs> I'm sure it's fine. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's that's where the book starts. And it was close to three years where I just posted. I would just get fucked up and just I lived on Facebook. It's all I fucking yeah. did. I, it was just Facebook. I got in the vinyl and I got into uh, documentaries. I love Ken Burns documentaries. I would oh, just get yeah. fucked up and watch documentaries. <laughs> that is one of the most. Getting fucked up and watching documentaries is one nothing of the, like the it, man. Jo joys of life. I invited my dad over one day because you remember that TV show Cheers? Of course. Well, <laughs> it's kind of like that. <laughs> oh, is that, is not, that me on the plane or is that, that the theme song to Cheers? That's the same. Uh, yeah, where everybody uh, knows your name. Oh, no, I'm thinking of something else. And well, it was that. <laughs> and I invited my dad over to watch Cheers with me, but I was so fucked up that I was nodding out on the couch and he was just like, you know what? I'm just going to go. Oh, wow, did he? Uh, yeah, I don't want to sit here and <laughs> watch you die. <laughs> uh, but p my problem is with documentaries, is I've, I've, and it's kind of the same with reading. I've gotten to the point where it's like I, I've accepted that I'm... Too many of them about blacks? Yeah, I agree. <laughs> <laughs> we get it. <laughs> we get it. We get it. Um, I just don't... I never remember anything. So I Same. do. I feel like I watch a documentary about you know World War One or whatever, and mm -hmm. then it's like I finished it and I go, I don't remember any of that. Mm -hmm. It's like what a waste of my time. I know, dude. I I should have just watched porn. I just know that I like it, and oftentimes yeah. they'll put me to sleep too. But I remember that. Okay, I might remember like a a frame from the documentary, and then it put me to sleep. But I couldn't tell you any facts from any of the shit I watched. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, and I'm like that with reading too. Sometimes I've like I've read entire books, and then I was like, "Wait, what was that book about?" And then I go, mm -hmm. "What well, well, a waste of my time again." I'm just gonna be on Twitter, dude. <laughs> What's the last book that you read? Um, I read the first page of uh, David Goggins, <laughs> <laughs> like how to achieve greatness or whatever bullshit he's fucking peddling. Um, you Did know, it fire you up? Huh? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. What do you like? Do you know? I know him. Yeah, I yeah but he's he's unwell. He's, he's mentally unwell though. That's yeah. like it. That's like that's like that's not. I don't think that's a, like I get it. People love David Goggins, mm. but like his whole like, yo, you gotta like feel pain unless or you're a pussy. You know, I'm yeah. like I don't know about that. Like I also like also what type is certain pain? Why don't you just stab yourself in the leg rather than running for four days straight? You know, well, I pain mean, it's is essentially pain, right? what he would do. Like he he ruined his fucking feet. Running because yeah. he refused to stop. But Running his fucking doesn't. mouth, that guy. Right? He's getting slapped <laughs> up. I see him. Goggins, it's on site. If I can catch up with you, Goggins is going to have to get a fucking baseball bat to the head next time he's running a triathlon. Is there at least a little part of you that thought about running with your shirt off after you started reading David Goggins? <laughs> black face, black body. They never said that about <laughs> no body. Face, just black body. <laughs> <laughs> they never said it. They never said it was wrong. <laughs> is it? What if you did something no. weird like that? If you just did black nipples? What if I just. Painted my tits black. I think you start like you just gradually start branching out more and more, and just, just spreads, to see where it's like it spreads. It's like, like a... oh, I have a condition. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Although that became trendy. Remember, like the uh, like the black and white skinned people. You know the black people that have like, what, that. big white pit patches. Yeah, what is that called? Gross. Um. <laughs> all right. No, sorry, folks. Sorry. <laughs> Apologize. Cut that out. Put on a clip. <laughs> Cut that out, but clip it. There's there's a white porn lady. Whose content that I watch? <laughs> she's got whatever. White that porn is. lady is gray. She's got that like in her genitals. We gotta Google that, please. Is it like I don't know what you call it, Dalmatian disease or something? <laughs> it's fucking. <laughs> <laughs> it's but it's a thing, yeah. Where you're just but they became like you know a few years ago it became like a kind of a cool thing. There was like models that would yeah. show up, 
Um, yeah, there's no easy way to tell you this, Pongo, but you have Dalmatian disease. <laughs> Pongo. <laughs> Because if I, my name is Rebecca Pongo. Shh, shh, shh. You go, no, no, he's sort of rubbing their head. Like, like, shh, 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 scratching the back of their neck. Yeah. Oh, there she Yeah, she likes that. She likes that. Her legs kicking. <laughs> um, yeah, so Google, uh, what's it called? Vita- vitiligo? Vitiligo. Yeah. There it is. Vitiligo. Um, sounds Italian. Yeah, sounds like a streaming service. Um <laughs> <laughs> Got that new Villa Tiger. Um, thank Dude, you. Dude, if you had to have one disability, what do you think you would have? Oh, uh, if I had to have a disability? Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't know, cerebral palsy, maybe. Oh, you would look good. You got the physique for it already. I think I do have sort of an op, like a. Yeah. I love you, Mary. <laughs> do you know that? <laughs> What's that from? Christy Brown. You never watch Christy Brown? No. So Christy Who's Brown. She? Christy, <laughs> Christy Brown was a. Uh, uh, author and mm-hmm. he was born with cerebral palsy in like the 1940s in Ireland they made a movie about him called My Left Foot oh that's the guy yeah with an uh, what's his name uh, Daniel Day-Lewis Daniel Day-Lewis plays him yeah and, and he goes and he fell in love with his nurse and he's like I love you Mary is that what all this construction shit is for you gotta it, Fonzie, you go start wheeling him around in a barrow like, yeah I'm just you know what it is now that I'm famous from being doing the Tonight Show I've decided I'm, I don't want to use my legs anymore <laughs> I just want to get ca- carried around <laughs> <laughs> like cerebral palsy um that's my i think that's my go-to um disability yeah because you still have it all up here but your mm-hmm. your feet you have to eat a sandwich with your foot all right so <laughs> what about you <laughs> what's your disability Ooh, baby i i think i would like a uh to be dumber i think i would like to be legally retarded legally retarded i, I feel, feel like but i'm like, on borderline uh, right now more like forrest gumpy style rather yeah, than I, like like i don't even want to know that i'm simple but i just want to know that like I like going to Dave and Buster's. That's I, all I know. I, yes. Where they won't let you do the Special Olympics kind of, you know, it's like you're not. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You're just an idiot. Right. I just, <laughs> I just don't want to be a prisoner of my own body, but I just want to have the mind of a cat. Of course. Yeah. Um, there's a thing I heard about recently. So Down syndrome, mm-hmm. which is an extra chromosome, mm-hmm. but you can also be born with the opposite, which is uh, up syndrome. Mid- Oh, exactly. So, ding, 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 ding. Um, where, you're, where you're missing a chromosome. Um, okay. I, I don't know what that is, but I like to imagine it's the opposite of Down syndrome. So mm-hmm. it's like... Every, a really tiny head. Yeah, everyone hates them and they're weak as hell. Your you tongue's know? like bulging at the back of your neck. <laughs> Smart as fuck, dude. <laughs> Just the smartest people you've ever met. Uh, yeah. So that's Christy Brown right there, is it? Yeah. Um, fucking crushing it with the ladies, that fella, by the way. Oh, wow. Look at him. Yeah. So he was, yeah, he he was born in Ireland back when it was like the inner city, poor as fuck. Just putting his feet all over everything. Jesus. His left foot too, by the way. Mm. And he wrote a book, smashing this, like he figured it all out. Oh, he would just start an OnlyFans if that was the case now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He would just start a left foot OnlyFans. Yeah, he's just dildoing himself with his foot. Like he fucking figured it out. Um. Yeah, I guess, I, I don't know. There must be some sort of disabilities that are like, Pretty beneficial to things, you know what I mean? Um, being got- giantism, go fucking dunk in the NBA. You Ooh, know, that's the, a good one. The only time for the giantism thing is like it's it's uh, you're so in proportion. Mm-hmm. It just looks like it hurts. They're always just like, Ooh! they're just like, take me out, <laughs> please. <laughs> but like you know, like they're they like they're like they're it's not right. You know what I mean? It's just their skin is all stretched out and shit. Every movement is painful. It I, is. I would they, love they that. just end me, please. <laughs> <laughs> there is not. Uh, I wouldn't mind that. I though. can't get rope long enough. Um, I remember Andre the Giant used to be able to drink like 200 beers. That's kind of cool, though. Sounds he, incredible. Is he, did he actually have giantism? Mm-hmm. Andre the Giant yeah. did, yeah. He could drink 200 beers. Again, though, that's is that a benefit? Like, it's a party trick, I guess, but he's just. <laughs> you would rather be the opposite, yeah, like a tiny guy who just drinks half a beer. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's a, a good game. Disability or party trick? Yeah. <laughs> Come on, you can get out of that chair. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Disability or opportunity. It's Gary V, right? <laughs> and- so, welcome to another episode of Disability or <laughs> Opportunity. <laughs> so, Down syndrome. <laughs> There's a lot, you know, the fakers that annoy me the most are the ones in the wheelchair that, that do this shit 
where they're walking ahead, but they're in a wheelchair. It's like, dude, if you want to sit down, oh, sit on, down. on the street, like, yeah. and they're looking for money. Yeah, yeah, they're like, I'm Vietnam vet, and you're like, you're about thirty two, bro. Uh, <laughs> yeah, the Vietnam vets. Yeah, yeah. Again, though, if you if you're pretending to be, just have no legs or whatever, um, I get it. If you're gonna be out asking for money, mm-hmm. you yeah, a little bit of showmanship. You know what I mean? Well, here's the dirty deal. yourself up and fucking yeah, do do brown body then. <laughs> yeah. I suffer from brown body disease, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> oh, do you? Yeah, let me see you jump. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. I want to see them. They should really dress the part, you know? They should like old school home mm-hmm. bum, you know? They have like a handkerchief on a stick. That's mm-hmm. what I want to see. I, yeah. when, I, when I walk into 7 Eleven, I don't want you just holding the door for me. I want to see you. Mm-hmm. Um, I saw this. There used to be this chick, and I, I swear it was fake. She used to ride the uh, 7 train. And she was in a wheelchair and had and had this big swollen leg and it was all scabby. So it was like open wound leg. And they would she would go along. And I was like, there's no way that's real because she was alive. What do you think? Was just like an old ham? Uh, I don't know. Yeah. I think she had like a, a, a like a sock, a fake sock type of thing that would go up and it looked all mm-hmm. scabby and shit. That would be fun, Kylie. Like if we just each created our own disability yeah. and went out into public to see who could make the most money. I'm pretty, I'm, I'm pretty good at begging, dude. I think I, I think I have your number, dude. I think I, I think I would, I would flourish in that opportunity. No, man. I, I think I have an edge because uh, do? I have a pretty low IQ to begin with, <laughs> and I could really ham up the stupidity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got to get yourself in character somehow. Mm-hmm. Like, what would you do? Just do some whippets beforehand or something? Just really get yourself fucking. I think I would take a shit on the floor at McDonald's. No, your- <laughs> and people, I wouldn't have to even ask for a thing. Yeah, people yeah. Just people, bring me what I want. Yeah, having a shit is a rough one. I would, I would come to you with all of my money and a pocket full of fillet of fish. <laughs> you go bang <laughs> with four of them eaten. Five thousand dollars, <laughs> bang. Yes, I once saw a homeless guy not too far from here having a shit, and it was on a park bench, and it was like you know, like the ra- the railing style benches. So mm. it's like they're just like bars. So it's going through the railings. Yeah, he squeezed it through the fucking. He squeezed it through the chair. So he's sitting there having a shit right over there at mm-hmm. Penn Station. And it was like falling through it. Mm-hmm. And it was, I just saw it like falling down. And I remember just like, fuck, man. Did you yell anything at him? No. no. What am I going to do? Turn your life around. <laughs> Gary Vee was already interviewing him. <laughs> <laughs> Gary Vee. Yeah, Disability shit. or opportunity. Yeah, shit is all about the grind. So you're a midget. Have you ever thought about breaking into banks? Um <laughs> <laughs> He's trying to, to sell you all this stuff. That's a great idea. I never thought about me just getting in the banks, man. Yeah. You have a man that throws you in and a man that throws you out. <laughs> yeah. That's your getaway, man. That's not a bad idea. I I wanted to make a sitcom about a bunch of special needs kids. All right. I'm listening. Um, and I decided not to pursue writing it because I was like, I don't think this will ever get made. I would like to read it, though. Yeah, I th- it could be not bad, right? Mm-hmm. The whole idea is that they're like the heroes in the situation, though. Okay. Um, and I like the idea. The idea is also one of the episodes. Um, one of their friends dies, right? And he's a midget mm-hmm. or whatever. And he dies. And then when they have the funeral, they organize the funeral. And obviously it goes bad because they're retarded. Mm-hmm. Um, so, one Paul Bear. W- exactly. But, and then they, carries it like lumber. <laughs> yeah, like a boombox. <laughs> <Yeah>. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> fucking walks. Do you uh, think they pretend and like just try to like have six Paul Bears just for the sake of uh of six, custom? Yeah, six little people Paul Bears. <laughs> little Paul Bears, please. Um Yeah, maybe that's what they do. Uh but but the yeah, the joke is that they they have to bury them in a white coffin because they 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 only make two foot coffins for kids, you know? You can't get it out in the black. <laughs> they do make some nice coffins for kids, man. You of course I think most dead kids these days are getting minion coffins. Yeah, yeah. Unless they get sued. Did you ever hear about that? Did you ever hear about that fucking the the Spider Man gravestone? No. So some kid loved Spider Man, so they got they got him like a Spider Man gravestone, mm-hmm. and then uh, Disney hit them with a cease and desist. <laughs> <laughs> Disney don't give a fuck. They go, yo, you gotta pay us royalties. Yeah. It got hit his heart with a cease and desist as well. I get it in the same way that um, who Hollister didn't want fucking fat chicks wearing their clothes. I don't mm-hmm. think Disney wants to be associated with leukemia. You know what I mean? <laughs> I, I think I don't think they, that's not good branding. <laughs> Disney denies 
Look, see, look, Disney denies dad's request to put Spider-Man on four-year-old son. Just parade. fucking put it on there, though. Yeah, of course. He put his hand out to be slapped there, you know? Ask for forgiveness, not permission. What do you want to do? Graffiti <laughs> over the fucking thing? Like, mm-hmm. you know? Yeah. But again, also, he's dead. Who gives a fuck? This is for you. Just have it in the house. Do you have a cartoon character you would get on your coffin or gravestone? Um, Maybe, yeah. Maybe, like, one of those... Uh, Fucking uh, Lois Griffin with some big old titties. Ooh, that'd be nice. Dude, I love watching her get fucked. Man. I do like that kind of stuff. Yeah. I would have, yeah, Maggie Simpson's a good suck. <laughs> she takes the- You ever watch Maggie Simpson porn, bro? <laughs> <laughs> She's getting ragdolled dude, by. As soon as that passes, Trusty fire the comes Clown. Out, I'm rock hard. Trusty the Clown is fucking the shit out of Maggie Simpson. Man, that's one thing I don't like about Simpsons porn is Marge always ends up fucking Bart. Yeah. There's so many other guys you could pick from. Why does every Simpsons porn video have to be you fucking Bart? It kind of would be cool if we like a good backstory Simpsons porn thing. You know, like Homer's at work. Mm-hmm. Mo comes over and gives her a fucking trash in the... Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. But Ma- Ma- Marge is actually a sleeper too when she has her hair down. Oh, she looks great, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There are very few female cartoon characters I would not like to have sex with. Yeah, so this is what we... Um, that is the thing. I think we we need to. Yeah. All right. Let's go to an ad read. <laughs> you st- just stumped me. <laughs> Boys, I'm about to tell you about a product that will help you be better in your relationship. The problem, nine out of 10 men agree that their chicks get a little bit dumpy. You know, there's a lot of negative influence out there. Lizzo. Rihanna was just a fat fatty now, you know, the what's the world coming to, but athletic greens has your back boys. Why take a bunch of different things when you can just mix one scoop of powder and water once a day. I bought athletic greens with the intention of losing weight, but to be honest, my girlfriend took it all from me and devoured it after I only had one thing and she is shredding pounds. Don't get me wrong. She's looking a little light, but I'm not going to get it below 80. Right, we're gonna get it down below eighty, so I can actually be proud of what she looks like. Um, I that's, so that's pretty much all you need to know. Every single thing you possibly need mixed into one morning um, scoop and shake alongside your morning coffee, you're gonna shred fucking pounds. You're gonna be losing pounds. You're gonna be you can be ripped, but also give it to your chick. Get her looking good. Get the boys jealous. Packed with over seventy five vitamins and minerals for a major boost to your gut, mood, energy and even skin and nails. If you're looking for an easier way to take supplements, Athletic Greens is giving you a free one-year supply of vitamin D and five free travel packs with your first purchase. I need this. I need to... I actually genuinely need this. We need to get these on the phone. Go to athleticgreen.com slash column, C-O-L-U-M. That's athleticgreens.com slash column. Check it out. All right, back to the show. We were just talking about, I don't know, did you watch any of this deep fake porn? I have not. I watched the deep fake picture of the Afghani grandpops, where the one grandpop had 11 fingers, so they knew it was a fake, but otherwise it looked like a legit photo. I don't even know what you're talking about at all. Damn, can you Google that maybe? Was it Afghani le- 11 fingers? What was this? This was a deep fake thing? Yeah, it was a um, it was a legitimate reporter who just wanted to show what life was like, I think in Syria. Oh, and yeah. it was all these these old or no it, Afghanistan, but these uh these old grandpops were just having a good time and like offering tea. Oh, she's like, look how nice this is, and somebody's like, this is a fake picture, you dumb bitch. Oh, interesting. But the yeah, uh, yeah, it's kind of crazy. So what happened was there was a um one of these streamers, uh, I don't know who his name is. But he was live streaming and he mm-hmm. opened up his tab browser and on the tab browser was like some deep fake porn site. And it was a video of a, a different streamers, deep fakes. So what these people at home, these nerds at home do is these horny nerds, they watch these streamers, mm-hmm. want to fuck them. So then they get their face and, and pose their face over like a porn star's body. Oh, that's so, th- so this person's sucking and fucking and it looks like their favorite streamer. Did so it look realistic? It can do. It yeah. can do. So I never even knew about it. And then he came out, but he went viral because he he had to he issued an apology with his wife. Mm-hmm. And his wife's sitting there and she's like, Oh, I did see the and, apology. And he, uh, yeah, yeah, and he's crying, going, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Curiosity got the best of me. And I pride myself on whatever gay shit, you know? Um absolute bender. So 
could, crying's not a good look, man. It's just a bad look. <laughs> just, you hear me? Chris, De Sta- Chris De Stefano? <laughs> uh, no, it's just a bad look to be crying and apologize. I don't even see the unethical side. Yeah. Genuinely, I know, like, I'll get li- listed as, like, a like some sort of a predator, but, like, I genuinely don't even think it's that big of a deal. Someone to make a fake porn of you. I'm gonna put your picture in. I want to see how I want to see how good you are at this. Get me getting rallied in a van by some black guys. I don't care. That's funny. That's funny. And then I then I can pretend that it was fake. You know. Yeah. This is the whole thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna flood the market with fake porn so that so you, you don't do even you know when the real ones get leaked. You know. <laughs> um, Have you ever had a photo of yourself in danger of being leaked that you were worried about? Yeah. Sure. Anytime I've ever over the years, I'm sure there's like a backlog of nudes uh-huh. somewhere. Dude, I've I've never sent a nude just for that reason. I'm just terrified. If I had a big dick, like I might, I might, they might be everywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I think I just got you got to get ahead of the game and just post it yourself. Yeah, and then you know. Yeah, yeah. It might mm. be my profile pic on Instagram now that you say it. Yeah. Yeah, I do think someday I'll be extorted for money. <laughs> Best case scenario, I'll be blackmailed for the rest of my life. <laughs> and, and, and the way my life is, best case scenario, I'm getting absolutely rinsed so that someone doesn't have a photo of my comb on my belly sent out to the public. Dude, that's got to be great, though, like when you're successful enough to be blackmailed. Yeah. Then you know you've made it. Yeah. They, but then you just could just come out and own it. Just be the David mm-hmm. Letterman. Go, yeah, I had to be fucking on my whatever. You know, remember the Letterman? Yeah. Uh, and they thought it was a joke. Yeah. That was great. He yeah, just came out and goes, yeah, I'm being extorted for these extramarital affairs. Big dog. <laughs> drop the mic. <laughs> Peace out. It's so hard to picture him fucking, man. It's there's there's some people yeah, yeah. where the second you see them, you're like, I'm watching you fuck right now. Yeah. But yeah, he's just the one way of those they carry people him. where it's like, yeah, put that put that fucking little ass wiener away, buddy. <laughs> I'd say he's into like spanking or something. Yeah, he's definitely he likes he's to be spa- fucking he's a- hit and bitten by dogs. Oh, he gets spanked. You're right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's a mouth gag guy for mm-hmm. sure. That's it. Because he's so used to being the talking guy. Yeah. He needs that. Shuts himself up. That's what they say about all these whores in Midtown. So you've got all these CEOs who live around, work around here. They all like to be submissive. Because, yeah, their whole life is spent being in charge and all that stuff. So then they go on their lunch break and some chick calls him a little dick fag. <laughs> and then they kick him in the balls. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> Jeff Bezos is getting kicked in the nuts right now. And he pays top dollar for that. Oh, my God, man. I'm not into the crush. I can't. I can't even. Nah. The crush in my guts is nuts. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> Put that on a T-shirt. How much do you think just a regular ball tap would cost? Cause... Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Because they the dominatrix is legal. That's the thing about Here it. Here it is? It's legal, yeah. As long as it's not sex, right? Yeah, but again, as long as you're getting off it, what's the mm-hmm. difference? Like, it's kind of weird, you know, We li- like, it's kind of odd, right? But it's kind of cool if you're into, if you were just turned on by people with their clothes on. What if that was your thing? So that every time you just look at anyone, you're like, oh, yeah. Ooh, you baby. just get free porn all day. Yeah, that's tough, man, because I need penetration to even begin to get riled up. Fonzie, get over here. Um, <laughs> But we really offer good service here. Uh, you, you need penetration yeah, to watch, you mean? Just, I can't think of like the last thing that was, I don't know, barely sexual that got me fired up. Because, you know, when you're like fucking 12 and 13, you could look at a catalog mm. and just think it's the most amazing thing you've ever seen. But then I think my my brain has just been so bastardized by all the porn that I flooded it with. Yeah, of course. That I just need fucking steve-o level pornography to yeah come. yeah you you actually don't even realize it you just watch an entire episode of jackass and yeah. you're, you're like whack it off <laughs> car crash porn <laughs> just violent pileups dude i i recently well i i cut back on only fans i'm no longer on only fans thank you i've been only fans sober for about a month now that's not bad but i have signed up for other sites so I'm not uh, doing that great. <laughs> but, dude, I forgot my password. You ever have a dream that rides you up so bad, Kali, that you just wake up and you're just like, I have to get this out? Oh, uh, kind of, yeah. I had one of those, and I had previously signed up for this paid site that was only 10 bucks a month. I could not remember my password because I was still sleepy. Mm. But I went on the site, and I signed up again. To, you, but, s- you started a new 
I, with with a, a different, I, did, I didn't mean to sign up with a different account because I one letter was off. Oh, okay, yeah. And yeah, when yeah. it showed me my info, it's like, oh no, that's not my info. But I already already entered my credit card info. So uh, now this other guy with his different email address, wow, now has a free XNX. And you can't gold. cancel it without the email. Yeah, I don't know what to do. You can't cancel it without the email. Well, I guess you can just cancel it through the credit card. You got to hit that. Yeah, you got to. I'd have to cancel the card. You got to. You got to make a bad call and mm-hmm. to some Indian guy. I'm like, <laughs> brother. <laughs> And he goes, well, we all been there, my friend. We understand. Yeah, <laughs> Very this- regular. You be, and then <laughs> you'd be surprised how often this happens, my friend. But dude, I think this problem is beyond beyond Indian comprehension because he's like, wait, so your problem is too much tits? <laughs> it's like, yeah, yes, Vinder, that is my problem. I, yeah, I always think about all these uh, the traffic wardens or whatever you call them over here, the meter maids. Like, they're all Indian, and I wonder how often they like <laughs> phone and ring home gun. They have so many yeah. cars. Yeah. <laughs> they go, they have so many cars. I am paid to find people for parking. <laughs> they don't write tickets. They just throw acid in your car's grill. <laughs> uh, yeah, but I wonder if they, they think of this like it's such a decadent lifestyle or whatever that uh, we're just part. They, they fine you for parking in places, you know? Oh, baby. Yeah. You ever think about going to India? Yes. I had a fucking layover in the airport and never left the airport. So I count that as going to India. Oh, did did you consider like going out and wandering around? I wanted to, but I I I could. I you had to apply for like a special visa. I had to apply for a visa. Okay. And I did have twelve hours. I, and I think maybe the way the layover worked was that I wasn't allowed to leave. Okay. But I I I, in hindsight now I should have had just the most intense ten hours in India, Dude, in, in New Delhi. If you ever get that opportunity, I I recommend. I haven't done it, but I've seen a lot of videos mm. of these like shave shacks where you go in there and get shaved and they hit you. What? We got to watch this immediately. Shave shacks. Yeah, they'll 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 primp you up and they'll also beat the shit out of you. Interesting. Shave shacks. Shave shacks? Yeah, so beat beat get so you go in you get shaved. Here we go. It's like we got it up on the screen here. No. Um I've seen the one where they throw dry paint at each other's face. What does that do? It's just a festival for a goat or something. I don't know. <laughs> 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 you know, it's just a, it's just a, you know. Our, our, speaking of fucking uh, like hillbillies, like um, Ireland has a goat festival called the Puck Fair, and it's an old Celtic festival. So it's been around for thousands of years. Uh, so what they do is they have a little, they they elect a, a a chick, they elect a little girl as um little Miss Puck Fair, right, mm-hmm. and um. Then they, the, the, the men go up to the mountains and they catch a wild goat and they bring the goat down to the village and they put him in a little cage and they hang him oh my God. over the village, uh, like in some scaffolding, <laughs> right? They hang him there for the, for the, for a weekend and then everyone, then they have like a big festival and then, the, and they, and then at the end, the little girl grants him his freedom and the, and the, they bring him back to the, oh, that's nice though. It's kind of funny though. Yeah. yeah. But it's also like, this is like a regular thing happening today. Uh-huh. <laughs> that's like Ireland's like not far removed from just <laughs> pagans, dude. Where they just have a goat festival every year and they go, oh, the goat. Look. <laughs> it, uh, yeah. It's just like, so. That so would, the, that would be fun to do here with the homeless. Yes. Just like they, you just pick them yeah. up, you, you yank them out of this building, you just, hang them up in a tree and yeah. he's convinced that that's it. It's and like, then we all sell cows and sheep and stuff yeah. for the week, you know, and we have big trad fashions. And yeah, you tease them. It's like, you've jacked off in the library for the last time, pal. <laughs> uh, yeah, some of these festivals are just fucking uh, barbaric or whatever. Uh, so did you find uh, any of these? Find Couldn't find any shave, slap shacks? Shave it's a slave shl- so in They the, shave you and then they smack the shit out of you. That's so fun. It. What's the purpose of the smacking the shit out of you? I don't know. Maybe it's to to do something to your skin. Maybe to somehow exfoliate you or something. Oh, they oh they're slapping you. Like, whoosh, whoosh. They're hitting you too, like pretty hard. Yeah, interesting. I would love to go to India and just go check out some shit. Um, you know, uh, I want to see. I've never seen a guy who clean your ears. I've never seen a. Oh, is that him? No, that's not. No, nah, this was like inside of like a uh, like a miniature trailer. <laughs> I, I did you? Were you just like on World Star and saw some Indian guy <laughs> beat up someone? And you're like, yeah, this is exactly what I remember. Um, where have you been? Where have you traveled as as to? I, uh, all right, so this is going to sound terrible, and I promise you, there's context to it. I once flew to Canada for a child beauty pageant. <laughs> so. <laughs> It's you, not as bad as it sounds. I promise you. Wait, when? And All right, so this you, was this was nineteen. What were you judging? What were you doing? 
<laughs> just hanging out with the boys. Brother, selling trench coats. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Yes, one ticket for two men inside of this trench coat, please. <laughs> but dude, my 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 family, they entered my niece, who was two years old, into these Hawaiian Tropic beauty pageants for children, mm. which is clearly just like a pedophile meat market. Yeah. And are they all built all these child things? Is there anything that's not um I guess there's sinister? no way. There's no way to validate this. There's no way to validate dressing children up in fancy clothes to parade them around yeah. in front of adults who validate them. Yeah, little little um little bit like a bikini, like a little <laughs> bikini thing. Like I don't even I don't even like I I don't like seeing kids dre- like <laughs> wearing skimpy clothes, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah. You know, I just I yeah, me I, too, man. I just don't want to be. T- <laughs> hey, yeah. Oh God, P U, and then he, yeah, he goes, yeah. <laughs> Not would never even look at that kind of thing on the internet. Uh, yeah, yeah. I don't follow my fucking little cousin. Actually, she got to like the whore age now. So Uh-oh. one day it's like she's like just a little nice girl, and then one day it's just like she's like po- her and all her fucking whore friends are going drinking. And I'm like, I don't need my timeline with sixteen year old sluts. Sorry, <laughs> get out of here. <laughs> See you when you're gross at twenty four. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you get what I'm saying. Yeah, um, man. So yeah, it's all sinister. I, I heard Tim Dillon say um, on what, I think one of his podcasts once about you know the um, the uh, the idea of false memories. Mm-hmm. That was um, like a fake me- uh, medical thing just created by pedophiles. So it was like a pedophile in charge of that. And it was like, it was like it create, told it like scientists, scientists to make that up so that they could discredit. Oh, uh, so that psychologists are misleading these people to claim. Yeah, so some guy at Harvard, you know, Pfizer, you know, big medicine, like whatever, big, um, big pharma. They decided to just create this idea that false memories exist so mm-hmm. that when people are like, yo, that guy raped me, they're like, no, 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 no. Silly child, silly child. <laughs> <laughs> You're raping me right now. No, 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 no. <laughs> That's a false memory. Um, So there's lots of sinister shit. So you'd have to imagine the idea of putting a bunch of four-year-olds in I mean, that's that's all this is. High like, heels and makeup. I mean, if you take it at surface level, it's just a, a bunch of very unfortunate children being marketed in a very unfortunate sexual way by their fat aunts and mothers who will undoubtedly sprain an ankle on the trip. Yes. For a goddamn medal and another chance to fly to another country where they'll conceivably get molested again. Yeah. Best case scenario, you're you're selling your ch- ch- children to dude, it's Japanese. Gross. Like, dude, parents fight. It, dude, it's so gross because I remember – we they, to- it's like a robbery. They, they, they give you the score and they go, boo, boo. <laughs> they watch it back on yeah. the jumbo John. You throw little tomatoes at the kids. <laughs> yeah, throwing a flag. Cherry them. tomatoes. <laughs> <laughs> that was a robbery. <laughs> you robbed. Damn. But dude, it's fucked up because the way this pageant was set up, we we flew to Quebec to, to watch these kids. <laughs> Man, it's an unfortunate <laughs> sentence. Yes, of course. Of course. But dude, every, every parent has the door of their motel room decorated with their child's picture. And all kinds of arts and crafts. Just, just allowing, like, yeah, there must be some sort of. A, it's just, it's just a brothel, right? It's like leaving your 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 fucking stocking out for Santa it's Claus. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's exactly like that. And then it's just like we didn't lock it, you know, mm-hmm. whatever. But dude, it, and it's even creepier because like this took place at a ski resort off season. Okay, of course. So the pl- the the, the, the feel, entire get- town's desolate. Yeah, yeah. And it's just these fucking these fat moms. And these strange men just just running wild in this town yeah, it, for a it, weekend. It must, yeah, it, like that's like, is that like a family business or something like that you get into? Like, how do you like become a judge? Like, I don't know, but I know the guy that was the <laughs> MC of the pageant. Uh, my dad and I got drunk with him the day of the pageant because we were at a bar that was that was on the resort, and we were drinking. We didn't know who he was. We were watching the Eagles game together. And we each must have drank at least like fucking 12 beers. Then at a certain point, he downs his beer. He's like, all right, let's fucking do this. And my dad and I, we finish watching the game. <laughs> and we go into back to the hotel. And we go to this ballroom where they're having, where my niece is competing in this thing. And that guy's the MC. So he's now wearing a tuxedo, introducing children after he's had at least 12 beers. <laughs> <laughs> He's wasted. All right, let's bring out one of these little fucking horse. All right. All right, Toby, come on. <laughs> but, dude, even worse. Someone, someone comes out and it's like. <laughs> 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 
And he's like, all right, very good. Come on. All right. Next, next. <laughs> but it's all put together by the company Hawaiian Tropic, who makes fucking oils. That yeah. You douse on yourself when you're at the beach to, yes. to really grease yourself up. It's sponsored by Hawaiian Tropic. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Sponsored by Pedo Rub. That Pedo Rub is not a bad title for an oil. <laughs> <laughs> it's honestly, it's kind of catchy. <laughs> Excuse me, I, do I have to be a pedophile to use this rub, or can anyone? <laughs> you tell me, pal. Put it on. It's like no. the sham wow guy puts it yeah. on you. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> he's jacking your kid off. Yeah, you, you just free samples when you go into Sephora. They're like, excuse me, hey, sir, you, you want to try this pedal? Pedo free samples from she's four. Yeah, she's four. <laughs> 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 Nice, rainy, rainy strikes. It's raining. <laughs> the rain man. <laughs> but yeah, yeah I, I, I flew internationally to watch kids dressed up. Do you think then there is a, the opposite of that, where there's um, people who are into granny porn. And oh, they, no and doubt. They, and they have I would go to gr that. Granny pageants? I would willingly go to that. I, I, would, I went to that just because my family went. Yeah. And they bought me a plane ticket to go to Quebec. Yeah. I, I, I would do, I would. Personally, right now, I promise you this. Google granny pageants, but I will put down ten thousand dollars to the winner of a, gra a granny pageant. Yeah, bring up a grandma banana. I will. I will sponsor a granny pageant in New York City, and where people have to wheel their fucking their Hot. Alzheimer's. Like they have to sneak their their grandmother out of it. Look at this. I think I just wrote a new movie called uh, where it's like. Happy Gilmore, where they're gonna lose the house, so the guy convinces his granny to enter the competition. Oh, look, she's got jewels on her colostomy bag. She's got, yeah, exactly. That's so funny. The good for them, man. The golden Zimmer frame. Um, there is a granny pageant, so yeah, walking the ramp at ninety. These granny, it's just called a senior pageant. But today's granny pageants are much better than ones that probably happened like thirty years ago because there's so many hot grandmoms now that are. To be a grandma, you could be fucking in your 30s to be a grandma at this stage. Uh, yeah, if you're Puerto Rican. Um, <laughs> but <laughs> this is a whites-only granny pageant. All right, in that case, they're 60 and up. Uh, yeah, she's great. And then there's probably like a huge thing where they, they you know the way like sometimes they'll like, they'll people will put older children in like peewee soccer or whatever. Oh, like there's always like a Cuban kid in the Little League World Series. Yeah, yeah, and, and he has a beard and, uh -huh. and his kids are there yeah. too. Yeah. Um, but that, that'll be like that. Someone shows up and he's like, I want to see her birth certificate. She's not 80. <laughs> so there is granny pageants. I honestly swear to God, the Colin Terrell podcast granny pageant is let's do it right now. OK, let's let's I'm saying it right now. Would you mm -hmm. like to sponsor on perks? All right. First, of I all, would love to. Yeah. Um, send in photos of your grannies, mm -hmm. folks, and we will um, rate them on looks. And uh, the ugliest wins. <laughs> what does she win? Um, copy of the book. I'll give him a hundred dollars and, and a copy of the on um, perks. I'll double that. Let's make it two hundred. Two hundred right now. Yeah. Granny pageant, and then yeah, and we'll I'll, I'll send the photos over to you guys, and you can, just can you can rent you can like have your opinion on it. Judge, special guest judge. Thank you. Please, folks. So just uh, DM. Just DM us. <laughs> Let, let's, let's keep this going too. I don't want to. I don't want to leave out pop pops. So send us a picture of your pop pops, most disgusting shit, and I'll put another hundred bucks on that too. So hot grandmoms and hottest pop pop dump. Uh, it's, yes, that's actually. That's a, if if you ever even got a legit photo of someone's granddad's shit, that's crazy. How would you even ask your dad, granddad? I didn't have to. My grandfather used to shit in our living room. Great. <laughs> <laughs> And any photos? Or, no. Uh, there might be a photo. Back in the day, we used to just live in the moment. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what a commode is? A Komodo? A commode? No. Not like the dragon. But okay. this is just like a portable thing that you shit in. And it's for old people that have mobility issues. But when our grandfather lived with us, first he lived with me in my room. We had bunk beds for a while. But okay. then his legs became so bad that he couldn't go up and down the stairs. Okay. So he lived in the living room. Mm -hmm. And because he couldn't go upstairs to the bathroom, my parents bought him a commode, which is a portable toilet where you just take the pot out and empty it as needed. Yeah. But it was set up in the living room like a piece of furniture. So while we'd be watching TV, my grandpa would just get up, pull his pants down and just unload in the commode. And he, and he, he like, like yeah. wouldn't even pause. He wouldn't. No, it's like right in the middle. And of would he fortune. go about the 
about to drop one, folks. Just so you know, <laughs> clear the area. An alarm goes off. <laughs> Everyone's running. Like, <laughs> like a James Bond. Everyone's running from the fucking... Incoming, incoming, yeah, warning, so, so warning. Thing for pop pop dumps. And uh, pop pop dumps, diarrhea or hard? I imagine they're hard, right? It, no, it's. Uh, I feel like just all old people just dehydrated. They just always have like a uh, like a pudding like consistency. <laughs> like I really think you gotta you gotta be thankful for the logs that you're dropping right now because it's not always going to be like that. Mm. Mm. Once I stop drinking, my my my. I haven't really been dumping that much. No. No. Once I got rid of the alcohol, dumps have been few. Regular? F- no, a few and far between. I'm like a three or four times a like day guy, usually. And then I stop drinking, and it's like every other day. What? Yeah. Oh, uh, I, I think every day is normal. Like once a day is normal. Yeah. Is that good or bad? That you're doing every other day? I don't think that's too bad. Like three a day is definitely you're you're decimating your body. Is it? Yeah. Well, you know, my body. Sorry, my body's just better cleaning out toxins, dude. Sorry, you're <laughs> holding on to all that negative energy. Sorry, you're getting cancer, dude. I'm flushing it out. <laughs> well, all my diet is literally just beer and coffee. You know, okay. That's it. That's AM PM. That's the way I break up the day. Now, if you had an old girlfriend, what do you think her diet would be? Would you alter your diet for her? For the old one? Yeah. Yeah, the two of us just eat baby food. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> potentially. Yeah, but that's why old people's diets are like prunes and shit. They're always eating like, in my day, figs was a treat. You, know, you got edible baby food underwear that she's got to eat. <laughs> 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 uh, um, it would be nice to date a, such an old woman that people kind of go, like, what's going on? Mm-hmm. Like, people have questions. Yeah. People have questions. They go, you're dating an 82-year-old? Dude, as soon as my wife dies. And then I go, I'm with you, brother. Guess who's getting the fucking the grandfather clock? Dude, how good would it feel, though, to to be with a woman that's so old that her hip breaks a- easily? Mm, interesting. So yeah. That, yeah. Yeah. By your third pump, you're destroying her. Yeah, and every time and and if she she also forgets your anniversary. <laughs> <laughs> the two of you guys. Yeah, yeah, it is the notebook, but instead of reading to her, you're just putting your dick in her mouth for the first time every day. <laughs> <laughs> there the- must be people showing up at these old folks' home trying to crack <laughs> open some granny puss. And like the the people that work there are like, get out of here. There are I used to work at one. All folks' uh, homes? Yeah. Like, well, I worked at a school and I'd have to take these kids to volunteer at an old folks' home. And it was an upper class old folks' home. So some of these ladies, these old ladies were really well put together. Nice. And they like to wink at you. Oh, yeah. The ladies that are real spry, they like to power walk past you. Yeah. 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 My grandmother, she, uh, her brain rotted out of her head. (laughs) So um, when I met her, she used to, (laughs) uh, yeah, time comes to us all. Um, (laughs) Yeah, but she used to she used to like want to fuck me a lot. Your grandma? Well, she was she's not like that. She was like coy about it, but you know, she was giving me the eye for sure. You know? Are you sure? Like she just wasn't bent over her walker because that was her body shape. Maybe. Well, because I was just throwing it back at you. I think. Well, I hope so. Otherwise, uh, uh, otherwise, I'm a rapist. Um, no, um, <laughs> no, uh, no, I'm horrible. That's horrible. I hope my mother ever never sees this. Um, no, she was just like she had dementia, or whatever. So then she'd see me. She'd, like, she'd be like, "Oh, you're a fine bit of stuff. You are." You know, she just that's a nice thing. And then she'd say. say to my mother, "She'd be like, are you going steady with him?'" Mm-hmm. And she's like, "No, that's my that's my son." And she's like, "Fucking tap that while you can." You know. <laughs> <laughs> do you yes. think there was any part of her that was coherent and just knew she could get away with it so she always had a thing for you i would love that yeah that would be great that would be nice to know if she was it was just a little bit of um mm-hmm. just a little bit of tomfoolery mm-hmm. <laughs> you know some like yeah how many people out there are pretending to, like yeah almost like jimmy That's what the jimmy, jimmy the chin the, almost style. dementia is just grandma foolery like yeah. they know exactly what they're oh, doing they and they know. just want to sex it up. They just want to scream the M word as help. You they know? do. They and do. Yeah. They have such high rates of STDs as well. The grannies? Yep. Wow. Old people in general because they go to these homes and they're just fucking relentlessly. And the idea of condoms is so foreign to them that they're just spreading STDs back and forth. Yeah, that's interesting. Apparently, yeah, STDs also in the um, the Jew culture. <laughs> Why did you see the girls? <laughs> So I meant to know which level of Jew I'm talking about here. <laughs> Turbo juice. Um, Jew. Point oh. Um, 
They they have STDs a lot, apparently. Okay. The uh, Hasidics, maybe. Mm-hmm. Or the other ones, whichever they are. Apparently, because they all cheat with prostitutes. What? Yeah. They won't turn on the light on a Friday afternoon because they'll go to hell, but they'll go crack open some fucking fucking lot lizard. <laughs> I didn't know about that. That's what I'm told. Yeah, yeah. I That's believe it. Um, again, all this type of stuff is like, like, is there like a study? <laughs> like, I, who who knows about this stuff? People you got to go into the field to get that information. A lot of my information I learned when I was like six years old in the playground, and I was like, yeah, that's just like, yeah, black guys have an extra muscle in their ass. You know? <laughs> Did you ever hear that one? In the, their leg, I heard. In their leg, I didn't hear about the ass. Maybe I, that's a, it was uh, the ass. Got across the Atlantic to I get was, that information. Yeah, we were told black people have an extra muscle in their ass. That's why they have such big uh, booties and they can run so fast. That's what we were educated. Not, that checks out. My my teacher was telling me this <laughs> <laughs> with a pointer. <laughs> nah. <laughs> That's some horribly racist scientific term for them. What is the wildest thing an adult told you as a child that turned out to be so far off base that you can't imagine how a person could arrive at that conclusion? Sorry. So what's the craziest thing you've learned as a child? Yeah. The, and, you, then, and then and then you when believe the hundred percent. Oh, there's loads of things like that though. Uh, and then you don't. It's not until one day you think about it. Could be you've just believed it your whole life, and then one day you go, "Oh, you know, uh, fucking black people have an extra." And then you go, uh, "Oh, that was fake." Mm-hmm. Then you just realize you go, "Oh, no, that never actually happened." You know, things like, "Oh, it's like I know Jay Z's cousin." No, that's he was lying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you've realized well, as soon as you say it out loud. Um, I can't think of one. I thought, do you have anything like that? There's loads of stuff. I don't know, but I know like my parents like were very like openly racist. And at one point, like I had a Vietnamese best friend and the store across from my school, my mom referred to as uh, the C word school, C word store. Mm. So we, she picked up my best friend and I, and <laughs> Shane, like, Shane Gillis will shop. At. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and she's like, uh, before we go home, I just got to stop at this C word store. Yes. And my friend Stanley was in the car and like, I'm just like, I cannot believe this woman just said this in front of him. I, literally, I was just on the phone. I'm starting a new podcast about uh, an Irish podcast. So I'm not going to go home three years. Uh, I'm not going to go home three times a year. Mm-hmm. Bank a lot of episodes with like one of my high school friends. Oh, cool. And it's just going to be, it's like just a casual, it's more of a passion project than anything else. Um, but I was just talking to him yesterday and he described... I don't know what he was talking about, but he described like the uh, Chinese restaurant maybe as a, a, the a CE. Okay. An inky or something like that. And I was like, he's so casually and he just kept blasting through. And I was like, all right, well, we don't have to have some words before the pod. <laughs> <laughs> like Chinese restaurants, not that long. <laughs> yeah, we don't need to shorten here. For, yeah. But that, yeah, I guess just, I don't know. It, again, he, if you said that to him about that, he, he'd be like, oh, that's just what we call it. It's not like a thing. Mm-hmm. Well, I think it was the same thing. Did you ever heard about case. that about co- chocolate almonds? Did your parents ever call chocolate almonds a, no. a, a certain word? No. N word toes? What? <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's a Jersey, that's a New Jersey thing, right? We Googled it last week. N word toes. <laughs> it was, is an old a, Italian New Jersey word. I think it's actually a play. No, no, it's a, nut. a Brazil nut. It's a play? <laughs> yeah, N word toes. It's uh it's um tap dancing. Yeah. That's crazy. I never even heard of that before, but I until recently I was like, yikes. Yikes. <laughs> <laughs> There's some things you learn and you go, yeah. ooh. Ooh. Good thing that was like four years ago and we don't use that anymore. This sounds like a question you would ask during the old lady pageant. Did, yeah. And they would come up with this answer. <laughs> <laughs> what what is a Brazil nut? <laughs> uh, they're gonna do a song and dance routine, the N word toes. Yeah. The N word toes. Yeah, it was like Billy Holly and the N word toes. <laughs> and <laughs> um, so we're definitely gonna do this uh, granny pageant. All right. Yeah, but- I'm already two hundred bucks in, so I'm I'm deeply invested in this. Yeah, yeah. The shit one. Send that to him. I don't want to look at any shit. <laughs> also, I don't know how people. But if you if your granny's hot. Um, send us a photo and you got to prove it's your granny somehow and we'll have a competition and we'll rate them. We'll do a rating episode where we rate on hotness. How about we give priority to videos of the grandmoms explaining why they should be picked? Okay, videos only. But otherwise, they're just going to send us photos of fucking like Dame Helen Merrin and then like we're just <laughs> just like Helen the Bottom Carter. It's like, this is my granny. It's like, no, you're not. That's like a witch from Harry Potter. Do you have a favorite hot old lady? I don't know if she's hot, that hot, but Helena Bonham Carter yeah. is definitely mm-hmm. like a go-to yeah. hot chick, mm-hmm. you know. Um, but there's a few of those old ladies, like like the Dame Helen Marin. You know her? I do. Uh, Sophia Loren's beautiful. Sophia Loren. A couple uh, of these old broads. There used to be a woman I had a big crush on. Um, 
I used to do yoga, mm-hmm. uh, granny yoga. Oh, it wasn't called that, but it was granny yoga. Mm-hmm. It was widower yoga. <laughs> we would all just cry and reminisce. That's terrible. One day you were just gone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, so it was like it, when I lived in Woodside, there was a local like YMCA type of thing, and they used to have yoga, and it was like every day. It was every Tuesday at fucking mm-hmm. midday, mm-hmm. and then I showed up one time. I was like, I'm here for the yoga. Uh-huh. And they're like, "We've, you're the second man to ever show up here in 25 uh-huh. years." And then I, I did it, and it wasn't real yoga. It was like old people yoga. Still, I was, I couldn't do it. It was fucked. It's like mm-hmm. those old bitches are flexible. But uh, what? There used to be one of the ladies. She was obviously like maybe 70, but she was like well kept together, and mm. she, she was a bit of a foxy. Yeah, she was a fox. Yeah. And um, although they all looked at me just like like their grandchild, you know, I don't think any of them was like, "I'd love to get." fucking cracked open by this fucking patty <laughs> like um but and then one day I, I just stopped going because I, I i started working in construction uh, so i was working tuesdays and they rang me oh, like no. on a group call they rang me one day <laughs> call them <laughs> i was like, I, like we're just worried about you is everything okay i was like oh yeah i've changed jobs i won't be back in there oh we just wanted to make sure everything oh, was okay they were all like whatever i'm that lovely lo- young man you know oh. i would go do my granny yoga but there was one of them now i definitely would have fucking absolutely ran through dude. i bet you're great with old women um, you're very charming. Do you think so? Yeah, I'm deceptively fake. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, don't get to know me, bro. But, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Dude, that's going to make them want you even more when you like warn them, be like, I'm just going to destroy your heart. Uh, yeah. And your heart doesn't have a lot of time left. So, I, y'all, I'm just cr- cracking open the fucking pacemakers, dude. I will rip yeah, your heart and your pussy fuck. to pieces. <laughs> Uh, I'm actually excited for this though. We'll do a granny pageant, and you just send in videos of your grannies, folks, mm-hmm. and winner will get a hundred, two hundred dollars plus yeah. a copy of On Perks. And I will take her out on a date. Okay, all right. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> we get it. You don't fly to like fucking yep. Florida, you know? And uh, <laughs> I will take her on a date, and when my wife dies, I will become your grandfather. <laughs> That would be sick, dude. If one of your favorite comedian became your grandfather. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Go get me the paper, you. Go to your room. <laughs> All right, Michael. <laughs> um, yeah, that, that's going to be great. I'm excited for this. Um, uh, obviously, bonus points if you have her looking good, bikini. If you had to describe your perfect old woman, what would she, what would she have? Oh. Um, short blonde hair. Gotta mm. be like, gotta be that grand, yeah. like, that short blonde hair. You know, at a certain point when mm-hmm. women just go, you know, long hair is just in the way. Yeah, yeah, that short blonde hair, thin, maybe, you know, obviously old, but like a lot of work done, maybe. Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. Oh, some good candies. She gotta, <laughs> she gotta have access to some good candies. <laughs> obviously, you gotta have like a Werther's original. That's how she get you. She'd suck it in oh. one drop. Oh, she's like trying to yeah. be sexy, but her denture falls mm-hmm. out. You go. Um, yeah, instead of like an ice cube in your mouth while she's blowing you, she just <laughs> unwinds a Werther's. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And um, yeah, exactly. Exactly. That's it. You know, mm-hmm. you what's what, what are you looking for? A, a stout lady? Problem is the stout no, ladies don't last long. They don't I, like I, I like I like up to a middle aged stout woman. But I think if she was older, I'd like a skinny spry woman with with shorter hair and just had a, a zest for life. And was, uh, yeah, ready to be fucked into the afterlife. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm going to fuck you so hard you're going to meet your your dead husband. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The guy who died in World War II. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. That would be nice, too. It'd be like asking them stuff like, you know, where were you when the Titanic sank? Oh, they love that shit. That's fun. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how you get them wet. Of course, asking them questions about the yeah. old times. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially Titanic stuff. Do you remember the first time you saw a colored television? Yeah. You know? <laughs> remember the first time you made your dog bite a black kid? <laughs> what did you say when you found out they were letting black people into college? What, what was your reaction? <laughs> <laughs> was that you in that picture? <laughs> yeah. You were yeah. screaming at him? Yeah. Ethel, listen, you better go ahead. Listen, oh, yeah. It's tough. There's not even great granny porn. Like, there's not even some good... You probably It's know. getting better. It is? Yeah. Yeah, these whores are growing old. But you always gotta you always gotta take it with a grain of salt because some ladies, you could tell they're dying their hair gray and they might be like 50-ish. They're doing the opposite thing where they're yeah. dressing up. Yeah. I, I, I need you to really look like you're you're close to 
to the casket. It must imagine going. Imagine being a porn star who stays in the game so long that they gone through multiple categories. Because it does happen before where right. they, one day it changes from step mm -hmm. daughter to stepmom pretty rapidly. Dude. Like it that's that's a very quick thing. I think it's like when you see like a very hot porn star make the jump to black porn, it's like that's like having a torn Achilles when you're a football player. <laughs> yeah. It's like you I'm, I'm glad you got your signing bonus money. And yeah, I hope but, it all works out. Yeah, but yeah. That, that's you had a good run. Yeah, the career is over. They got their rings and now they're like kind of like just trying to ride it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The black. Yeah. Yeah. You don't start in black porn. Um, yeah. I don't know. Some some might. I think. Uh, What's I don't that? Know. Sky Bree is pretty. So I don't. I, I don't know that. I'm lady. actually just a fan of her. I don't even watch her porn. You know Sky Bree. She's like this new generation of. Um, so you know Adam Twenty Two. Yeah. This skateboarder guy. Yeah. He Lena the plug or whatever. So he just like he. I guess he set up his own. Um. He set up his own like he has his porn girls. I don't know. She works. He's a manager or whatever, and she got into porn through him. And that, but she's like a celebrity kind of porn star. She, like, she does all the podcasts and vlogs and uh, she's in that world. So God bless that's her. not her, by the way. The one on the right is obviously. Um, yeah, that's not my cup of tea. Does that excite you? Her? Yeah. Yeah. Like that style of lady. Yeah, she's great. She's a natural. Mm -hmm. I like the old natural girl. Um, but she like she was working in Target. I think she just like DM'd Adam 22. was like, yo, let me suck you off. So he's like, OK. And then she's like, I want to do porn. So then he just became a manager. And now she's like. A proper, this is the new generation porn stars. They're all like actually have followers mm -hmm. and all that stuff. Uh, they're not just. A know, smart move. They have clips. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're getting into clips. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that body. Look at the second. Come on, man. Yeah, I don't know, man. I, I like. What a, do you like? I like a, a Latina that's built like a like a kitchen appliance. Yeah, the one that's the the, the maids that get paid to. Yeah, there's. I mean, up. just the that, kind of lady that you you know is cooking pork chops at three a.m. Yeah, so just stout run stuffer, <laughs> just able to help you move a love seat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Opens her own jars. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> With her armpit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> she has some tools and stuff like that around the house. Yeah, I get it. Yeah, a nice structured woman for sure. Um. Yeah, it's not bad. I met Lisa Ann. How was she? She's fine. Yeah. Yeah. And it's like, oh, there's also the other porn star was at Skankfest who I just met her. I was actually, well, I was kind of hoping to have a conversation with her actually. And then someone else, some, which was just, which I don't hate, but it was like some fan came over. I was like, call him, can I get a phone? Mm. All this type of shit. And I was like, all right, yeah, which I like me and everyone. And then I turned around and she was like gone or the conversation was over. And it was just, it kind of bugged me. What's her, know? what's her style? Like looking like that? She or? was an older lady. Um, and I'm sure there's a video of her tr trapped in a coffee table. <laughs> she's a very clumsy, <laughs> she's a clumsy woman, I tell you. Um, yeah, I, I, I think her name is Alexis F Fox or something, like Alexis F-A-U-X or something. Oh, okay, that name sounds familiar. Yeah, and I just met her. Um, let me see. Yeah, that's her. That's her there, yeah. So oh, I met her. Nice lady. Yeah, she... she you, a couple of videos from about eight years ago now. She was like on top of her game, I think. Um, yeah, so she was at Skankfest. And I think Josh Potter. Anyway, but the the thing is, is I don't know what the, the answers are to when you meet these people. Mm -hmm. So this was my, so Lisa Ann sits down with us, right? Mm -hmm. At the the stand one night. She's kind of involved in comedy. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm sure everyone knows who she is. Like mm -hmm. every guy that walks by is like, that's Lisa Ann, there's mm -hmm. Lisa Ann. But they... She's one of the most famous probably women on the planet, uh -huh. but she's it's like the opposite of like Brad Pitt, where everyone has to pretend like they don't know who she is. They go, there's Lisa Ann. But you, she's not going to get mobbed by all the guys. It's like, whoa, unless she's yeah. like in India. She's just like, she's just like, <laughs> um, oh my God. Could you imagine being in a porn star in India? Mm. Insane. It, you Insane. Could, you couldn't like, even get off the plane. It'd be like Diego Maradona showing up in our <laughs> like fucking just, <laughs> just like, ah, ah. <laughs> queen, queen, I love you. Mm. Man. But um, yeah. All right. So we end. We always end every um, episode with a question from the fans. If you guys want to um, get your questions asked on the podcast, head over to patreon.com slash column Terrell. Sign up and you also get an extra episode every week. Um, I guess. All right. Let's go. This one comes in from James. On a scale of one, one to ten, how would you rate the usual crowd of girls at the cellar? 
I don't. What's that mean? Does that mean comedians? Or like how the members? crowd? Yeah, the audience is when it's girls. Are there hot ladies in the crowd? It's hot, sexy twenty-year-olds in the crowd. Yeah, yeah. There's just I don't know. Just hot chicks everywhere, right? So I don't know what the fucking. <laughs> what a fucking <laughs> dumb question, James. <laughs> how would you rate the usual crowd at the set? I I would argue that there's more. See, here's the thing: is just so many people go to the cellar. Like they've got four shows, mm-hmm. they've got four rooms, and pretty much every night of the week they've got four shows in each room. So like, there's just hundreds of people coming mm-hmm. in and out of that place. So you do see a lot of hot chicks, but I do think the stand is um, the stand gets a lot of hot chicks. Well, NYU is right there, so you get a lot um, of college ladies. And it's 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 a cocktail lounge, the stand comedy club, and it's a sort of a, more of a dining experience, like. Mm-hmm. The cellar's just a club and thing, and it's built nice and it's clean, so chicks like to go there, you know. And they also book a lot of uh, female fan based people, you know, like Hannah Burner, Francis Ellis, <laughs> uh, you know, all these, you know, all these chick. The people have big chick fan bases. Um, yeah. What about this? So down in Philly, would you know? Well, is can we have a blanket statement on the uh, attractiveness of a helium crowd? I think yeah, helium. I, I've seen a lot of first of all, every women show, there. every show that you you guys are doing it has to be just wall to wall autistic men. It, and it's mostly single tickets sold for and men it, that look like us. Yes, single which tickets, is right up my alley. Unless their older sister had to bring them. Yeah, <laughs> their, their, their mother made their older sister bring them. Yeah, and you get them back at uh, by noon. <laughs> I, I think that that's pretty good for helium. For punchline, I think most of the women that go to punchline. Um, probably as they hand their tickets over, there's Cheeto dust on the ticket. <laughs> yeah, yes, absolutely. So that's less of a desirable Yeah, desirable all crowd. the Philly, if, if the fucking Eagles fans are having to go by, the fucking Philly's rough, dude. Every time you see a fucking Eagles fan, it just, she, look, she looks like Donald Trump. <laughs> fucking the amount of <laughs> grizzled women at an Eagles game just go, Get back! And you're like, Jesus Christ, I'm in love. <laughs> Um, yeah, I don't know. Look, there's women everywhere. Like, like there was, it's it's very hard to specific, but there is always lots of good looking women. Um, New, go to New York City, but everywhere. I, I I can't even argue that. Like New York is better hot women. I probably actually, you know what? I've been to Indiana. That is rough. That's a rough place. Uh, I'm gonna say the opposite because that's Ooh. more my speed. That's what. Yeah, you, I, Roseanne. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I I, I think more, more than anything, I think the thing that I fantasize most about is having a hot meal every night. And Indiana ladies look like the type of ladies that will make sure that you're hot meal fed every day. That of your is life. true. I do want a good stew. Yeah, you got to decide because you know that Sky Bree girl we showed up. You know she ain't making yeah. no good dinners, dude. Give me, give me a fat Indiana bitch in an Eeyore hoodie <laughs> any day of the week <laughs> over a Sky Bree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah, just like a plumpy woman wearing a fucking you know kneel for the flag. It's one of my favorite Stand songs. Stand for the cross. Plump. Plumpy woman <laughs> waddling <laughs> down the street. Wobble, wobble. Plumpy woman <laughs> looks like she's gonna eat. Plumpy <laughs> woman. <laughs> oh, she stood on my foot. <laughs> You're standing on my wow. foot. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. right. That was a good question. Thanks very much, James. And this next question comes from Barry. McConkin or ass, conk cocking or ass, Barry McCocking or ass. Nice, is that Irish? <laughs> um, uh, what is gay or sucking it or taking it? Let's go. I'll hit you with that one there, Rainy. Uh, I, w- I would say taking it because every day we're putting things in our mouths. That's true. And you could classify that as gay. Any the act of eating is gay is gay in and of itself. However, to take it is such like a next level of gay. Because it involves taking your pants off, greasing yourself up, pulling your cheeks apart to your elbows. Yes. Whereas, you know. th- yeah, but you know what? I've no taste buds in my ass, so you don't. No, uh, I got I was, them removed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I was I was born with Anderson Cooper disease, so I do have that. <laughs> um, what would you say? I uh, yeah. Uh, Sucking could be rough. Sucking could be worse. And also, I'm such a perfectionist that I'm obviously going to make it you good. You get good at it, yeah. 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 And I was thinking about this only the other day if I was like in prison mm-hmm. and you kind of had to choose, mm-hmm. you know, getting up the gicker. 
It's not doesn't sound great. Mm. Right up the geek pipe. What not do you there. what do you think your signature move would be if you were a world class dick sucker? I think I'd do like a sort of a like a like a tonguey like a round the world tongue yeah. thing. I, that's what I would do. Mm-hmm. And I'd get right under where that little uh, where that like little love heart kind of shape is on the Ooh, on that the is good, yeah. And I'd get right in behind it. Yeah, that's what I would do. I think I would. You know how like you got that little mouth on your dick, the chap's eye. Is that what it's called? Yeah. Yes. I that's what pull, we call in Europe. I would pull that open and I would scream, who let the dogs out? Uh, interest. Yes. Yeah. I'd whisper something and it would come out of his mouth. Yeah. <laughs> like, so yeah. Echoed out of his mouth. Yeah. <laughs> it, 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 chamber. That's, this goes right out the asshole. Yeah. <laughs> it comes out as a talking fart. He does this thing where he screams down your urethra and it makes you come so fast. The legend of Mike Rainey. Um, yeah. I don't know. I guess it's it, it all depends too. It's like, would you rather suck a big one or take a little one? Mm-hmm. I just don't know if getting cracked open so intimate. <laughs> <laughs> Getting cracked open in the prison showers. Have, have you ever had a friend? What if you fall in love? Have you ever had a friend uh, try to initiate sex with you? Y- yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. 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 Um, and I was like, no. I did piss on a guy once while he jerked off. Oh, okay. Yeah. How much? How much did I piss on him? A lot. <laughs> Uh, how much did, I, did yeah, how much did, did he pay you? No, he, I just did no, as a favor. Did, yeah, I honestly, I this is a true story. I really did do that. Did he have sunburn? <laughs> Jellyfish? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, no, he was just a pervert, and I just thought it'd be. I thought it'd be funny. Yeah. I thought it was funny to piss on him. Could you not stop laughing as you were doing it? I actually stopped because of splashback. It was like it was bouncing <laughs> back onto my ankles, and I was like, "Nah, that's gay." <laughs> so there you go. Look, y'all have to experiment somehow, <laughs> and my experiment was pissing on a man. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so I still, I still to this day think it's funny. Now, what did he do? You know what happened? So uh, we were drinking in his house, and then he was like, "I was like, I, I need to go for a piss." And he goes, "Why don't you piss on me?" And I was like, no. And he's like, why not? And I went, yeah, good, good point. point. Actually, yeah. yeah, I didn't think it was like that. So then we went to the bathroom and then I was going to try piss on him. And I couldn't do it. I got stage fright. Yeah. And, you know, I don't know if you ever couldn't get hard for a woman or whatever. But like, mm-hmm. you know, some women, like they get like, what the fuck is wrong with you or whatever, you know? Mm-hmm. But like, he was very gentle. He was like, don't worry about it. It's fine. He goes, I'll step us at the door. It would be fine. And then he stepped outside the door and then I was waiting and I was waiting and I was like, oh, I'm ready. And he came, came back. running in. He came in and he, he was like naked. a dog. Now he was naked, by the way. He, <gasps> he wasn't naked before. Oh. And then I couldn't go again. Oh, no. And then he was like, don't worry about it. And he went outside again. And then I, socks on. And I, I, I got myself pissed and I clamped it. And then he came in and then uh, I started pissing and he was like, <laughs> on my chair. So I, and I was like, I was, I had to talk myself in the mirror. I, yeah. my, I was like, you fucking piss on this gay gun. I was like, what's uh, wrong with you? You piss on your friend. Uh-huh. And then, so I pissed on him, but then it splashed back onto my ankle. So I stopped. Oh, that's, that's a tough ending. Yeah, funny, funny stuff. Did he appreciate it though? Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, he, he actually he got canceled for obviously. And if you're the type of guy getting people to piss on you, mm. you're getting canceled. I did have a. That's an I, old, I still that's have a friend, one. but he said when he was in college, there was a local guy that would pay students fifty bucks, and when you had a shit, you would go into the bathroom and he would hide in the shower. And you'd take your shit, he'd listen to your shit, and then he'd pay you 50 bucks. Wow. Interesting. I was thinking about, I said that's why um, people are trans. Is The reason they want to be trans is so that they can use a female bathroom, and then they listen to you fart. Mm. That's, a, that's actually what that is. There's no such thing as trans, um, transsexual people. It's mm-hmm. just men who want to listen to women fart. So they just go, I'm a lady. And they go sit there in the cubicle, and they just wait until you... And they go, yeah, hell yeah. Right. That's it. Trans is great, but listening to I would I would rather my wife throw up on me than fart next to me. <laughs> <laughs> really? Mm-hmm. Are they stinkers too? It's just, even if it didn't stink in your mind, it's a thousand times worse than it actually is. <laughs> Dude, my, my girl be farting all the time. She'll hate this. But uh, yeah. But like, you know, sometimes it is by point. She's like, you know, I could smack you, right? Sometimes you do have to like, just like, do you disrespect me? What's going on? <laughs> Why are you treat? Why are you treating me the way I treat you? What is going on here? <laughs> yeah, every every fart that uh, my wife unleashes, like I can't accurately gauge how bad it is because it just in you my mind of, it's awful. Like in my mind, room. even if it's a little, pff, it in my mind it's like Homer Simpson's mouth when he burps. Yes, of course. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, women are gross. Get your shit together, women. Um. All right, that was a great episode, folks. Don't forget um, on Perks. And also, what else have you got going on? Obviously, Dad Meat Podcast. Dad Meat, Little Stinkers. I do that with John Del Calo and Jake Matera. It's uh, mostly serial killers, but also we focus on funny people doing fucked up shit. Like one of our most recent episodes was Tanya Harding. Yes. Oh, nice. I love her so much, man. Yes. 
uh, just a, a real a lady after my heart. But yeah, right now I'm just trying to sell as many copies of One Perks as possible because I am going to buy myself another Chrysler 300 to make up for the Woo! one I had repossessed. Okay, because you lost it all to drugs. Yeah. Oh. All right, there you go. It's a, it's a, it's a real, uh, whatever you call it, underdog story. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Onperks.com. Treat um, yourself. Obviously. And the audiobook. Before I go, I just want to add the audiobook. I had uh, guest narrators. I had Tim Butterly, Matt McCusker, Ryan Shaner, John McKeever. All the boys came out to read this with me. And uh, yeah, the audiobook is fucking hours upon hours long. And in addition, it's it's twice as long as this book. And they also add their own commentary, which really makes for a fun time. Um, great. Awesome. Man. Thank you. Thank you. I love you, brother. I um, love you too. And I, you know, there's, there's nobody I, I, I appreciate more than you. I enjoy spending time with oh, you thanks, and man. you make me laugh more than anybody, right. man. Yeah, edit that out. I don't like that. Yeah. <laughs> no, no compliments here. Really. And, uh, <laughs> if you don't mind, I'd like to piss on you right now. <laughs> I go, I'd rather that. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Thanks guys. You're the man.